So the color of the smoke coming out of your exhaust pipe tells you a lot about the condition of the engine and any potential problems you've had. So it's always a good idea if you can to check the exhaust smoke every now and then and just make sure everything's running correctly inside the engine. So in this video, we're going to look at three different types of exhaust smoke. We're going to look at white smoke, blue smoke and black smoke and what that indicates as to what's going on inside the engine and how you can diagnose the problems, get to the bottom of them and get them fixed before they become major mechanical problems and issues that you have to deal with at some future date. So white smoke. So this tends to happen when you start burning coolant or water or moisture within the engine. It's a classic symptom of a head gasket where the coolant is starting to leak through the crack in the head gasket or the gap that's formed in the head gasket into those combustion chambers where it's starting to go through the combustion process and it's emitted from the engine as this telltale white smoke. So it could also be the sign of a cracked cylinder head, which is a bit more serious a problem. And it could also indicate there's a problem within the cooling channels inside the engine if there's a crack somewhere and it's allowing that coolant to seep into the combustion chamber. But in most cases, it's just the head gasket. These do go, if the engine has got particularly warped, it may have warped things slightly, it may have damaged the head gasket, it may have affected the seal. And just getting the head gasket replaced can go a long way to mitigating that problem. So how do you tell if it is a head gasket problem or indeed if water is starting to get into parts of the engine where it should? Or if you remove the oil filler cap and just look underneath, if there's a telltale white tish mayonnaise substance forming, that would indicate that water is starting to mix with the engine oil. And in most cases, that indicates that it's a head gasket problem. So do that very simple check if you've got that symptom. And if that white mayonnaise is present, then assume it is probably the head gasket. Take it to your local garage and just get them to whip the head off and see what's going on inside the engine. They may also do other tests, compression tests, um, download the diagnostic report and just see if there's any other issues or problems on the engine while you're actually there. So blue smoke or smoke with a bluish tinge would generally indicate that oil is getting into those combustion chambers and it's starting to burn. So when oil burns, it has a distinctive smell but it also gives a very, very bluish tinge to the smoke. So in modern engines with diesel particulate filters, with catalysts and the pollution control, in a lot of cases that will reduce the blue smoke considerably. Gone are the days where it used to bellow out tons and tons of horrible blue smoke. But if oil is getting into the engine, that can come from a number of areas. Perhaps the seals around the pistons have started to go and oil is starting to seep back through the cylinder wall into the combustion chain. The valve stems themselves may start to leak a little bit of oil where the oil is starting to seep into the cylinders from the top of the engine. The positive crankcase ventilation valve can also cause oil to seep into parts of the engine where you don't particularly want. In a lot of engines, it will take the gases inside the crankcase and spit those back into the intake where it will burn off. And if that's happening excessively, you'll get a lot more oil in there than you actually want. And that, that can give away that telltale blue smoke in the exhaust. So turbochargers generally have lubrication needs and they're under a lot of stress and strain. So if the seals within the turbo have started to go, the oil can seep into areas of the turbo where you don't really want it and get sucked into the intake strip and where it goes into the engine and starts to burn. But black smoke or very sooty smoke, that's generally an indicator that the engine is running too rich or it's just not burning the fuel that you're using effectively. So in some mapped diesel engines, it's quite common to have a little bit of black smoke compared to the fairly clean emissions that you would normally get. But you, you really do need to look out for excessive amounts of black or gray smoke coming out of the exhaust. If it's starting to run rich, it could be a problem with the fuel system. It may be dumping too much fuel. It may be the oxygen sensors in the exhaust that's giving false reading, causing the engine to back off, maybe backing off the airflow into the engine if it's got a turbocharger controller. There's quite a few different issues that can cause an engine to run rich, but that is quite a big problem. It's not just the black smoke you get out of the exhaust. The modern engines with their pollution control systems, the catalysts in particular, really don't like unburnt fuel and those soot particles can clog up the catalysts and the diesel particulate filters and cause all sorts of problems and issues. So black smoke is certainly something you want to get addressed sooner rather than later because it's one of those problems that will just grow and it'll have a knock on it. So downloading a diagnostic report for the engine will generally tell you where the problem or the fault is inside the engine. If it's not burning correctly or the sensors are starting to play up or it's getting abnormal readings, that will generally be lost and you can just read 
read that off and that can help you to diagnose the problem nice and well. So most modern exhausts burn quite cleanly. You won't really see smoke on a cold, frosty morning when the car has just started up. You're likely to see a little bit of smoke. So allow the engine to warm up before you start any serious diagnosis and get a feel for what the baseline is for your make and model of car. If you've got an older car, you may well expect a little bit more colour in those exhaust gases. If you've got a modern engine, they should be running fairly clean. You shouldn't really see those exhaust gas. So I hope this video has been useful to you. It's just flagged up potential problems in the car and how to actually spot them and diagnose them quickly. We'd love you to stay tuned. So please subscribe to the channel. If you could boot that like button as well, that really does help us to get out. Thanks for all your support and for watching this video. And I've lined this video up for you. Thanks for watching.